Hey, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now answering question number five, part B, from the June 2020 IGCSE Cambridge Paper 4, Variant 1, 0580 exam. This question here is about, again, menstruation. Here we're talking about volumes. We've got this horizontal container for water with a uniform cross section. The cross section is a semicircle. The radius of the semicircle is 0.45 meters and the length of the container is 4 meters. Calculate the volume of the container. Now this is a prism and the volume of a prism is equal to the base area times the height. The height means how deep it is. So the base area is basically the cross-sectional area. That's what you can say. So the cross-section here is this semicircle. And the height here would be how deep it is, which is 4. So the volume of this container is basically the area of this semicircle, which is pi times 0 0.45 squared over 2, because it's a half of the uh, area of the circle. The area of a circle, remember, is pi r squared. This is a semicircle, so it's pi times r squared over 2 times 4 meters. Okay, they're in meters, that's in meters, that's fine. So it's going to be basically... Uh, 2 pi times 0 0.5 squared, 4 5 squared, sorry. So you're going to have 2 times 0 0.45 squared. That gives you 0 0.405, 0 0.405 pi. Okay, so that's the answer. But I'm going to, of course, round it to 3SF. I'm leaving this exact form here in case we need to use this later on. So I'll multiply this by pi. Okay, and that gives us um, 1 1.27234, 1 1.27234, which I'll round to 1.27 meters cubed. That's the volume of this container. Okay, so yeah, that's the answer to part one, 3SF, that's fine. Then part two, it says... The greatest depth of the water in the container is 0 0.3 meters. The diagram shows the cross section. Calculate the number of liters of water in the container, giving your answer correct to the nearest integer. So basically what we need to do here is we need to find what is this volume of water here. What is the volume of water in this uh, container? All right. So we know that the, the, the radius of the container okay which is from there to there let me just make it a bit thicker actually the radius of the container is 0 0.45 meters so we've got to find the area of this now this is basically a segment of this circle if you think about it it's a segment here we have you can say the radius and the other radius okay and what we're asked to find, basically, is the area of the segment and then um, multiply it by 4. Okay, because that's how deep the container is, how, how you know, long it goes in. So if I can find the area of this cross-section here, if I can find the area of this cross-section here, this segment, I will be able to, therefore, find what I'm looking for. Now, I know this is 0 0.45. I know this is 0 0.45. And I also know what this height is here because that's 0 0.45 minus 0 0.3. Okay, this, this little section here, okay, let me call it H. H here is 0 0.45 minus 0 0.3, which is 0 0.15 meters. So I know that this is 0 0.15 meters over here. Okay, that's 0 0.15. Okay, so I can now find, because all I need to do to find the area of this segment, I need to find the area of the whole sector, which is um, going to be basically, the area of the whole sector is the angle, let's call this angle theta. It's the whole angle theta. Theta over 360 times pi r squared is the area of the whole of this sector. And I've got to take away the area of this little triangle, which is going to be a half times the radius times the radius times the sine of the angle between them. This this angle theta a half times this side times that side, half a b sine c. So half times 0.45 times 0.55 times the sine of this angle. All right, if I if I can work out uh, what this angle theta is, I can work out the area of this segment.
because if I take away the area of this triangle from the area of the whole sector, I'm left with the area of the segment. So what I need to do is find this angle. Okay, so we can find the angle because we have this right angle triangle. Okay, this is like a half of the angle. This is theta over 2. This part is half of the angle. This is 0.45 and this is 0.15. So I can say the tangent, no, not the tangent. I'm going to use the cosine, aren't I? Okay, because this is your right angle. So I, I've got the this angle that we have. We know this side, which is adjacent, and we know the hypotenuse. So we can say the cosine of theta over 2 is equal to the adjacent 0 0.15 over the hypotenuse 0 0.45. So I can say the theta over 2, which is a half of the angle we're looking for, is going to be inverse cosine of, that's going to be 15 over 45. Okay, and that gives us 70.4528. So therefore, we can say that um, theta over 2 is going to be um, 70.528. 70.528 goes on. So therefore, we can say theta is 2 times 70.528. So I'll take this answer and I'll multiply it by 2. That gives you 141.057. 141.057 it continues on so that is the angle theta okay that is the angle theta so therefore we can say the area that we're looking for is going to be given by um as we said the angle which is 141.057 divided by 360 okay times the area which is pi times 0 0.45 squared that's the area of the whole circle that's the area of that sector so we've got the area of this like pizza slice and we've got to take away from it the area of this small triangle here, and we're left with the sector area. So we're going to have a minus the area of the sector, and the area of the sector is given by um, a half times AB sine C. So it's AB is 0 0.55, 0 0.45 squared. That's the radius, 0 0.45 times 0 0.45 times the sine of our angle, which we found 141.057. So that's going to be the area of the cross section okay um so if i just take this if i put answer that was a 141.057 over 360 times pi times 0 0.45 squared minus i'll have a half times 0 0.45 squared again times the sine of the answer the last answer we had which was the angle that will give me the area of the cross section which is 0 0.185629 0 0.185629 it goes on so therefore our volume is going to be the cross sectional area which is 0 0.185629 times four meters because that's how deep we go okay all right so that's times four meters so that's going to be in meters meters cubed so let's just multiply that by four that gives us uh, 0 0.74251 0 0.74251 meters cubed now we want to find the answer in in liters okay now we know that one liter is 1000 centimeters cubed so now i've got to convert this all right um so what i'm going to do first i'm going to convert this to meters cubed first okay so i'll say that 0 0.74251 meters cubed to change from meters to centimeters you multiply by um 100 but because it's cubed you have to multiply by 100 cubed so 0 0.74251 times 100 Cubed. When you're converting units of volume, you must cube the conversion. All right. So meters to centimeters, you normally multiply by 100. Meters cubed to centimeters cubed, you multiply by 100 cubed. Okay. So that will give me the answer in centimeters cubed. Okay. And I want the answer in liters. Okay. So that's in centimeters cubed now. Now, to find the answer in liters, I'll have to divide by 1,000 because I know I want to find how many liters, you know, this is. All right, so I'm going to just take 
this and divide it by 1000. So I'm going to get my answer, which is this times 100 cubed. Okay, and then that will give me my answer as 742,718. Okay, 0.68. That's now in centimeters cubed. So therefore, you divide by a thousand to give it in to liters. So I take this and I divide by a thousand, and that gives me my answer as that 742.51, 742.518 liters. So it says to the nearest integer, so 743, 743 liters, and there's the answer to that question. It's a bit of a um, bit of a long-winded one, but we got there in the end. Okay, so there's the answer to that question. Okay, so there's a few different things involved in this question. One of them is finding the area of this segment, okay, which is the area of the sector minus the area of the triangle. And the other thing is changing from meters cubed into liters. Okay, so this is the conversion I remember. I don't, I don't memorize the, uh, the one for meters cubed to liters. I memorize the one from centimeters cubed to liters. The more you have to memorize, the you know, the more difficult things are for you generally to memorize them correctly. So if you memorize uh, what's the least kind of necessary for you to do and just know how to convert. All right, how to convert from meters cubed to centimeters cubed is very simple. You have to multiply by 100 cubed. All right, now some of you might not be aware or, or understand why you have to multiply by 100 cubed. And I'm just going to show you very quickly why that's the case. Now, supposing I have a line and it's one meters long. I could say that this line is 100 centimeters long. Now, if I make this into a square, okay, then this, this length would also be one meters and also 100 centimeters. Now, the area of this square in terms of meters squared will be one times one, which is one. But in terms of centimeters squared, it will be 100 times 100, it will be 100 squared. Now, that means one meter squared is not 100 centimeters squared, it's 100 squared centimeters squared, right? So one meter squared is 100 squared centimeters squared. So we, we know one meter is 100 centimeters. So if you're converting from uh, units of, of area, then you have to square the normal conversion. And for volume, we can just make this into a cube. Just you know, extend that to make it into a cube. Now this is one meter and also 100 centimeters. In terms of volume, the volume of this in terms of meters cubed is one times one times one, which is one. But in terms of centimeters cubed, it's cent 100 times 100 times 100, which is 100 cubed centimeters cubed. So we can see that one meters cubed is the same as 100 cubed centimeters cubed. So that's why we have to cube the conversion or square them for areas of what we normally have and then we have to in the end change from centimeters cubed which we found into liters by dividing by 1000. Okay so there's the answer to question number five part b. I hope that was clear. It's uh, quite an involved question but it's not too difficult once you've done you know some practice. Um, other questions from this particular paper including 5a can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here. Other questions um, from this topic of, I mean, this is this is basically um, mensuration, areas, volumes, and also areas of sectors and segments. Okay, um, I'll, I'll have a, a playlist here for areas of segments and sectors, and one here for volumes. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.